Hi, this is Robert Country Cooking. I've sliced up probably about, mm, I'm going to say four potatoes here. And uh, I've salt peppered on them. I've put some Gaia flavor on them, flavoring on them. And I've put a little bit of seasoned salt, not too much. And hold up on your salt if you've got anybody with diabetes. Um, they're getting done. They're almost done. Um, they're, they're starting to get soft right now. Yeah, sodium is very bad for you. You don't want to get too much. It's also so, bad for people with heart conditions. And so, and all this you're seeing it fry in is like a, I put like a half of, half a cup of oil. And then I put like a cup of water in these potatoes. So the water would cook down the uh, potatoes and get them soft. That way when you go to eat the food, you know, uh, it'd be good. But what I'm trying to say is it will, the water will help cook the potatoes. And, um, and it, may, it just make the food taste better. You might have to stand here and wait forever and ever and ever for your food to get done. Um, eat, with Easter coming up, I've been thinking about probably making an Easter cake and, um, I don't know, uh, just a lot of different sides, uh, holiday stuff like that, Easter sides. A uh, ham, maybe, I don't know. You know, if you've got any kind of requests of food or things like that, I'd appreciate it if you'd send that in. Mexican, Italian, anything. Yeah, uh, if you'd like to make a comment, if you subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And share these videos out to people, and like we my videos. We have a recipe, we can make up something. Exactly. Um, and if you would like to request a recipe, you could put that in the comments, because I read my comments all the time, and I would be more than happy to fix that. I am looking at making Italian food. I was thinking about some manicotti, a lasagna Doug's wanting to cook. Uh, he's also got a goulash that his dad taught him how to make. And he'll be making the lasagna because he's really good at that. I'll make some spaghetti. I got a special kind of spaghetti that I like to cook. Um, and yeah, we don't put a whole lot of salt in our recipes either. Yeah, we watch sodium and salt in tape because Douglas is diabetic. Here and there. Yeah. And um, we're not yeah. heavy with the cheese, we're not heavy with the milk. Or the cream. Or the cream. So it's all evenly without the food, without it being just thrown in there, if you know what food I mean. It has sodium and all the other stuff naturally occurring in it. Anyhow. In it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we try to be as healthy as we can with you guys. Um, Something I also thought about, uh, I've also got grilled cheese on my channel, which is very simple to make. Uh, but I've also thought about paninis um, be, that I want to post. Um, I've also thought about some soups, uh, potato soup. I've thought about a tomato bisque soup I want to make. I've thought about... Um, Meatloaf. I'm actually craving a meatloaf today. That was that bisque soup I got that was very good from the restaurant. Um, that was at Panera. Panera. No, it was at Panera. That was at Panera, yeah, sure. Yeah. And um, I'm wanting to do some other things. So if you guys have any requests, just send them in. And I'll be more than happy to help you out with that. But, oh, you need to ask my cheese. He's, uh... I'm wanting to cook some food, though, and just tell me about that earlier. I've been wanting to make that goulash I've been talking about. What's that have in it? It's got big ground beef, like, uh, what was the chili we made the other night? It's got ground beef like that. You cook the ground beef the same way. Then you make your macaroni and cheese the same way you normally make it. Add it to the ground beef. Then you put tomatoes in there. Tomato paste. Two tomatoes, diced tomatoes. It's very good. It's got corn in there. Yeah, it's whole kernel corn. Doesn't have to be sweet. It could be regular. Yeah. It could be green giant or Del Monte. Del Monte is better. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. But I was also going to tell you, when Easter coming up, I'm probably going... If you got any, the women out there, if y'all have any ideas about Easter candy that you would like me to try and make, uh, I do get on Pinterest. I'm addicted to Pinterest and looking at pens about food. So I'm probably going to be looking at some pens about, uh, you know, like holiday food, Easter food and stuff like that. But as far as the candy I was talking about, Speaking you know, maybe fudge or like a peanut butter fudge or a chocolate fudge with like jelly beans on top or um, we could say something like a little Easter bunny. Um, they could be like little cakes. We could also do like cake pops with the sticks in them with like chocolate with Easter bunnies on, ears on top. You know, whatever, something simple like that. Uh, Doug likes to do fun things like that. So, just let us know in the comments below what y'all would like to see, and we'd be more than happy to post anything that you guys would like. And just leave us a share, comment, and like, and, and also subscribe. Speaking of women, we got a new little lady coming to the house soon. Yeah, we got another little chihuahua on the way. She hasn't been born yet. She's a little puppy. She's going to be a puppy. And she's going to be a puppy. Okay, and our scalp potatoes are done. Okay, I'm going to take these off the heat. to move the camera you guys because I'm about to pit these uh so this one I'll give me a second be over here in a second you guys okay and what I'm going to do let's get the stove off here I'm going to bring over potatoes with first I'm gonna drain the potatoes. I do not like grease in my food. Grease is not healthy for you. Drain them. That's what I'm doing now. Just be a little patient with me. And that looks good. And I'll set that there. And one, two, three. I'm gonna pour these over in here. How you doing? And uh, this look nice over there. And like I said earlier, you can put. Season salt, but I'm gonna use something else. Just a little bit of that. It gives them a tang, a twang, actually. And I'll plate some of these. Are you coming up here? Plate some of these up, folks, and I'm gonna give them a try.
Now, I know kids like ketchup. That is, the parents allow their children to eat ketchup. Which I say that some parents don't want the kids to have to catch up, depending on the parent. Good boy. Is there a tomato outside? Okay. Then I'm going to stand here and I'm going to try about for you guys. Hello, YouTube. I'm going to talk about uh, potatoes. Hope that you're not sideways. Let me turn you a little bit. Is that better? Excuse the hand. I'm going to try my tap potatoes I just cooked. Mmm. Pretty good, see? Oh my god, that's good. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Now remember, put the water in with the oil. The <clears throat> Not a whole cup, but just part of a cup. And mix the uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. And mix them together. When you put your potatoes in there, and uh, it'll be excellent. You will not regret it. Very good. Anyway, this has been Robert's Country Kitchen. I hope that you have enjoyed get this out of the way. I hope that you have enjoyed today's episode. Me uh, cooking scallop potatoes for you guys. It's a very good little dish to fit with like baked chicken, fried chicken, barbecue chicken, fried pork chops, breaded, anything. Or just by themselves, you know, for like a quick meal. Anyway, this has been Robert's Country Kitchen. Please try it, subscribe, like, um, share, and comment. Um, as well, like I was saying earlier, if you have any kind of food that you want me to make, drop it in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to cook you something. Until the next time, this has been Robert's Country Cooking. Have a great one. Bye-bye.